With many businesses seeing the effects of people staying safe indoors and less foot traffic, there's never a better time to experiment with new ways to generate income for your business. And that's what we're going to talk about now. Eight ways to generate revenue when your foot traffic is down. I'm Emma from GoDaddy coming to you from San Diego, California. And I'm Darlene from GoDaddy in Arizona. Let's get started. So that's eight things. Number one, virtual meetup. If your business is driven by classes or appointments, offer your services via webcast or a Zoom meeting. I've done a lot of Zoom meetings. If you run a yoga studio or a gym, this is a great opportunity to deliver service online and grow your reach while people are at home. Or if you're a counselor or consultant, continue to book appointments and deliver sessions via webcam. It's a great way to provide and extend how you serve them. Number two, online store. If you sell products, offer to sell your most popular products or ones that people need the most in an online store. These days, you can use a number of services like eBay, Etsy, Amazon, and Facebook. And if you have a website already, like Websites Plus Marketing, you can manage all of your products and shops via marketplaces. Number three, online ordering. Limiting exposure to your customers during this time is key. Offering online ordering and pickup is a great way to provide the shopping service to your customers while saving them time and reducing the risk for them. So you can even set up pickup times to schedule out your workload. Number four, create a blog or video series. If you haven't had the time to share your expertise via video or blog, now's the time to create some content to share with your customers. Your customers value your expertise, so continue to provide it in another format. Offer useful content to help them during this time at home. Many content creators add a tip button or use Patreon to collect payment for their content. For example, I know a home inspector that does a weekly how-to series on keeping your home maintained and uses his camera phone and his personality. Most of his content is formatted in a top five tips format. Just get creative. Number five, deliver it. Many restaurants, coffee shops, and grocery stores have taken their operation to delivery. Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash, or whatever service you prefer, it's easy to spin up ways to offer restaurant food, coffee, and baked goods to your customers. My coworker was actually telling me the other day that he uses a local dairy that delivers and they carry food items as well. So every Friday, he gets his local dairy products and other foods delivered via truck. And it could be a great way to keep your employees busy, right? Like while extending your service. I mean, hey, you may have been just a local bakery and now you're reaching people a bit further out. And number six, add some advertising to your website and content. If you haven't used your website as a marketing vehicle, it might be worth getting an AdSense account to monetize your website. The setup is pretty easy, and if you have a fair amount of website traffic, it can be a way to earn passive income while you're busy with other things to keep your business going. With a pay-per-click model, you could be earning a few cents at a time without much effort. Just remember to drive traffic to your website by sharing a link or mentioning your domain name every time you post to social media or send out a business email. Number seven, become an influencer on Instagram. There's a few ways to use Instagram to generate revenue. Post content sponsored by brands, be an affiliate marketer selling other people's products, or sell your own products. I follow tons of businesses who deliver their expertise in photos of products and creative ways that they use them via their Instagram accounts. It's also a great way to continue to market your business after things trend towards normal. Number eight, run a campaign. There's two ways to do this. Some businesses run a GoFundMe to tell their story and ask for help directly. I just heard a story about a new coffee shop that just opened before COVID-19 shut a lot of businesses down. She told her story via GoFundMe to ask her customers and neighbors for support. The other way you can run a campaign is to offer something unique or special through a Kickstarter campaign. I've seen artists create unique jewelry, art, products, or even books, and by using Kickstarter, they're able to keep revenue coming in and stay busy fulfilling orders. So there you have it, eight ways to generate revenue when your foot traffic is down. Try one, try them all. And you never know, you might discover a way to enhance your existing business and position yourself for growth. I'm Darlene. And I'm Emma. Stay safe. And stay healthy.